Hi all, I am Lidhya Dominic, Assistant Professor, Department of Animation and Graphic Design, MES College, Marbury. Sensor is script, mono, space and display. These are the main important typefaces, classifications that we should know. And serif, when we come to serif, serifs are the letters with finishing strokes. They have more extra strokes or lines or brackets that project from letters gives letters of finished appearances. Here letters flows together, making serif typefaces easy to read, often used in books, magazines and newspapers. For example, mainly we see uh, like Times New Roman is a type of serif font. And next, sans serif. Sans serif is with no serif, that is there is no extra strokes or brackets or lines. It's like a minimal text also has no variation in the width of its strokes. Computer generated look useful for science and large scale text meant to be seen from a distance. Text is harder for a reader's eye to follow in large block of text. So we can use mainly uh, for uh, like display fonts. Uh, we mainly choose sensory fonts because it doesn't have any kind of extra appearances. It's just simple or minimal. Next is script fonts here script fonts are the fonts which are more decorative uh, or even like a uh, handwritten appearances often used to suggest formality difficult to read in large bodies of text most effective when used as a heading or subheadings in a layout so next is type styles these are the styles which had which we use in in designing type faces uh, these are Roman, Italic, Oblique, Condensed, Bold, Light, Regular, etc. So here the upright letter forms is known as Roman letters. Italic are which contains an Icelandic version of the typeface. And also regular, light and bold which we normally use. Condensed, Extended. Condensed type of fonts are an RDO version of a regular typeface to fit letters into small space, like compressed type. And extended fonts are like a wider version of the regular typeface, also known as expanded. So these are some of the examples of uh, typographic design. This is how we can play with the typography. Now let's move on to different elements of typography. So what elements can we add to make the typography more better or more uh, attractive? These are some of the elements. Contrast, consistency, white space, alignment and color. So first is contrast. Much like hierarchy, contrast helps to convey which ideas or message you want to emphasize to your readers. So when we spend most of the time on this contrast, which makes the text more interesting, meaningful and attention grabbing. We can also play with the typefaces like colors, styles, sizes to create this contrast impact. This is some, one of the example as is shown on the PPT. And next is the consistency. Consistency is keeping your typefaces consistent, which is a key to avoiding a confusing, confusing and messy design. So we should keep a consistent look in our design throughout. When conveying information, it's essential to stick to the same font style. So your readers instantly understand what they are reading and begin to notice a pattern. So it's good if we use like uh, maximum three fonts so more of three will make the design more bad and the next one is type white space white space is uh, also known as negative space is often refers to a negative space and white space is the space around the text or graphics it's a area around the object so it's often overlooked and tends to go unnoticed by the viewer but the proper usage of this white space makes the design more 
readable and better. So white space can even draw attention to the text and provides an overall aesthetical pleasing. So white space often takes the form of margins, padding, etc. And the next one is alignment. So aligning the text is a process of unifying and composing text, graphics and images to ensure that there is an equal space, size and distances between each element. So alignment can be of uh, left alignment, right alignment, uh, center alignment that also justify. And the last one is color. So color is one of the most exciting element of a typography which gives more vividness to the text. And this is where designers can really get creative and elevate the design to new level. Text color and how is how it is taken lightly. We should not use any kind of light colors for a light background. We should know the contrast and choose the colors. A good designer will know how to balance these three components like value, hue and saturation, which makes the eye catching and clearly legible form of typography. So these are the basic things about the typography. I hope you understand. Thank you.